welcome to math skills lesson 6 uh, for your OAR test prep in this video we'll learn uh, the basic algebra you need to know for your OAR test prep so before we start make sure that you have a pen and a piece of paper that you could write every single steps on the video and practice and as always pause the video and practice by yourself make sure that you understand the problem and then download this application called OAR tutoring um, for your iOS or Android phone and practice lesson 6 in the in the app and then take at least few practice tests to make sure that you get 80% or higher on your practice test so let's get started in this lesson we'll learn how to find slope of a line equation of a line find distance between two points find midpoint of two points and different type of algebraic equation you could see algebraic equation um one two three four five five different types and functions so first of all we'll learn how to find slope of a line you know equation of a line y equal to mx plus b where um b is the y intercept that means where it's connected in the y axis right and m is the slope if you want to find the slope of this line x1 y1 x2 y2 you need to use this formula so that is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so let's apply this formula into a problem so you could see here find the slope of a line passing through 2 pi and 0 3 you could write anyone you want um x1 y1 or x2 y2 so let's mark it so x1 y1 x2 y2 so now plug this value x1 y1 to this formula so that gives you um 3 minus 5 over 0 minus 2 so if you simplify that that gives you negative 2 over negative 2 that is 1 so m equal to one so this is the slope of this line so now you try by yourself using the formula m equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 you could write um, this one is x1 y1 this one is x2 y2 and then plug the value and simplify and make sure that you get this answer now the next we'll learn how to write equation of a line using slope and y-intercepts so as i said before the equation of a line y equal to mx plus b where m is the slope b is the y-intercept so let's plug this value slope m equal to 5 and b equal to negative 3 and using that that gives you y equal to 5x minus 3 so this is another problem you try by your, yourself y equal to mx plus b let's plug the value and make sure that you get this y equal to 3 over 4x plus 5 so now we'll learn how to find distance between two points so say you have a line here that is x1 y1 x2 y2 so you want to find the distance between these two points so how you could do that so the distance is the square root over um, x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square so now let's apply this formula into a problem so you could say here um, find the distance between two points 4 7 and 1 3 just plug the value you could write here x1 y1 x2 y2 let's follow that um, x1 minus x2 square so 4 minus 1 is square plus 7 minus 3 is square so uh, 4 minus 1 is 3 7 minus 3 is 4 so is square that gives you um, 9 plus 16 is 25 so is square root over 25 is just 5 so the distance between that two point d equal to 5 now you try by yourself finding d equal to is square root over x1 minus x2 is square plus y1 minus y2 um, is square you could write first x1 or y1 it doesn't matter i mean x2 or x1 y2 by uh, or y1 
because whatever you get um you are doing is square if you get negative number you squared it you get positive so don't worry about that and then make sure that you get this answer next we'll find um the midpoint of two points so say like you have a uh, line here right you have x1 y1 x2 y2 so this type of problem actually came before in the test many times uh, from my experience so um if you want to find the slope of this two point um let's do that so say like this midpoint in here called x1 sorry x and y so how you could find that so um in here x will give you x equal this and y equal to that so um the midpoint x component will be x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y component will be y1 plus y2 divided by 2 so let's go ahead and then um apply um this formula to a real problem let's do that so you could see here uh, find the midpoint of uh, two points so you could write here x1 y1 x2 y2 so if you want to find um x and y so you could write xn plus x2 divided by 2 y1 plus y2 divided by 2 so um, simplify that that gives you that so that is here is x component will be that in here so x y um will be 3 and y will be 7. so as i always say pause the video and try to do by yourself make sure that you learned it so this this type of problem you always see in the actual test so now this is a practice problem you try by yourself um the midpoint m equal to um x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2. so use this formula and um, plug the values and make sure that you get this answer now let's learn how to solve different types of algebraic equation so this is the um, equation in here 8a minus 3 equal to 7a plus uh, 7a minus 33 so what you could do here you need to the the, the goal to solve an equation is to um, bring one side variable another side is constant so you could do it all different ways so let me just do another way whatever we have in here so add both side by 3 add both side by 3 so you see here 3 3 cancel out so that gives you 8a equal to 7a minus 30 right now you see here both side has variable so you need to eliminate from the other side too so what you could do 7a subtract both side by 7a so this cancel cancel so that that gives you a equal to negative 30 so you could either do this way or you could do either that way it doesn't matter so make sure that you understand so now solve another problem so you see um there are two variables in here so if you have a multiple variables so the first step you have to do you have to simplify this algebraic equation so you see here this um um, 8x and um, 5x so what you could do you could just simplify so if you combine them so that gives you 3x and then uh, you could see here 8x 5x 4 4 so what you could do here you could eliminate one side um, the constant so you could add both side by 4 so and uh, the concept here is um, um, you have to do always opposite operation to eliminate something so you could see here we add both side by 4 so that's why you have a negative 4 that's cancelled out and then if you simplify that that gives you 3x equal to 12 and then divided both side by 3 then x equal to 4 make sure that you pause the video and try by yourself and understand now let's do another problem in here how to solve the equation there's all different types of um algebraic equation so you have negative 2 parentheses y plus 3 equal to negative 7y minus 31 so what you could do here um you could uh, use the previous example and try to solve by yourself and make sure that you get this answer so the next uh, we'll learn another um algebraic equation how to solve in that case there is no number only the variable people get always 
um, confused. So we have like many students, they could do like regular um, uh, algebraic equation to solve, but when it comes to the letter, they get confused. It's not. It's very simple and it's straightforward. So you need to solve for x, right? So you could see here, if you want to solve for x, you could su both sides subtract by uh, by. So that's what we did in here, right? So then what do you have now? So this by, by cancel out, and then you have ax equal to d minus by, right? Now then divided both sides by a. So that gives you x equal to d minus by over a. So you try by yourself this another uh, practice problem and make sure that you get this answer. Now we'll learn how to solve quadratic equation. So that means um, the equation in the form of a x square plus bx plus c. So so this is called um, quadratic equation and equal to zero. So in that case, I, I'm not sure that you remember that from previous lesson, you learned how to factorize that. So if you have a um, quadratic equation, the first thing you have to do, you have to factorize this um, the left side or right side, whatever you have like in uh, ax square plus bx uh, plus c that form. So you could see here how to do that. You have 14, right? So I mentioned before you need to multiply a with c first. So in that case, 1 and 7. So that gives you 1 and um, uh, 14. So this is 14. So you split this uh, into two numbers. So you could do 7 and 2. So 7 times 2 is 14 and 7 minus 2 is 5 so you could write that form so that we did exactly so we have x square um, plus 5x minus 14 so if you split that into x square plus 7x minus 2x minus 14 and then you could take common between um, first part and then common in here right so if you take x common that gives you x plus 3 if you take Two common that give you x plus 3 now uh, you have x plus 7 times x minus 2 and you know if the the product of two numbers equal 0 then they are individually they are 0 so you could write x plus 7 equal to 0 or x minus 2 equal to 0 so add both sides by 2 here and subtract both sides by 7 here so that gives you x equal to negative 7 and y equal to 2. Make sure that you learn this one. You will see um, this type of problem at least one or two in the actual test. So this is another equation. You try by yourself. Um, do the middle factor. Um, you split the 6 into 2 part 3 and 2 is to 3 times 2 is 6. 3 plus 2 is 5. And solve this and make sure that you get um, x equal to negative 2, negative 3, so that will help you. Now we'll learn how to solve uh, simultaneous equation. That means two equation, two unknown, right? So you see here, x plus y equal to 5, 5x plus 3y equal to 19. So in that case, what you have to do? You have to eliminate one of those variables. You could eliminate first x or you could eliminate first y. In that case, we actually eliminate um, y because you need to solve for x. So what you did actually, you multiply that, that equation by 3. So that gives you um, 3x plus 3y equal to 15. And this equation is in here. Now subtract from the first equation to the second. Then a 3y, 3y cancel out. So you could see here, um, you have 5x minus 3x, 2x equal to 4 and then x equal to 2 okay so um, you could check your right or wrong you could check you could plug the value in one of those equation and you will get exactly same thing okay so um, practice so there is another uh, problem in here you could see here 3x plus 2y equal to 1 and then 4x minus 3y equal to um, 3 so you see here like it's not straightforward so you have to do a little bit a different way so what you could do here so is 6 so if you multiply that equation by 3 and that equation by 2 so that gives you 9x plus 6y equal to 3 and 8x minus 6y equal to 
6. So now what you could do, you could eliminate this x, uh, sorry, this y and y. So then you could have 9x minus 8x is x equal to 9. So that's the answer. And if, if they ask you to solve for the y, let's plug this x value with any one of those equations, you will get y. So this another uh, practice problem, pause the video and try by yourself and make sure that you get this answer. The next we'll learn how to deal with the inequality. This is very very, um, very much same to like regular equation. So you could see here 2x minus 5 equal to um, is greater than 7. So what you could do at both sides by 5. So that gives you 2x equal to uh, 2x greater than 12 and then x is greater than um, 6. There is another equation but in that case you need to learn a little bit um, a different way. So if you have like that, let me just show you something. So you have 3x is less than 9. And then what do you have to do in order to solve for x? You have to divide it both sides by negative 3, right? So here is the key. Anytime you divide it by a negative number, this sign will change. So that gives you x is greater than negative 3 so this is the answer so apply that and um, solve this equation you will get this answer so you kind of see here this sign with that sign they have so now we'll learn how to solve this type of equation so um, the formula is e a to the power x equal to a to the power n then you could write x equal to n right so you could see here 3 to the power x equal to 81. So what do you have to do first? You need to write this 81 in terms of 3. So you could write here 3 times 3 times 3 is uh, 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 21 times 3 equal to 81. So you could write 3 to the power fourth power. So that we did here. And then apply this formula a to the power x equal to a to the power n. Then you could write x equal to n. So apply that concept and um, do this one. So you could see here um, we do um, 2 to the power x plus 5 equal to 128. So you need to write this 128 in, in terms of 2. So that gives you 2 to the power 7. So you know if base are the same, you could write exponent are equal to each other. So x plus 5 equal to 7 and then x equal to 2. The same way. Pause the video and try by yourself. Make sure that you get this answer x equal to 7. Now we need to um, learn how to do the absolute value, the modulus equation. So that means absolute value means um, it has positive and negative side. So absolute value of a equal to 5, right? So that means a equal to 5 and a, and a equal to negative 5 or negative a equal to 5. Either way, you could say. So make sure that you understand that concept. So you, you could see here um, absolute value of x plus 2 equal to 5. So that means this has two um, a value positive and a negative. So you could solve both. So then you have x equal to 3 and x equal to negative 7. So there is another example uh, practice problem. So you try by yourself. Make sure that you get this answer. So now we'll learn how to um, solve this um, the function. So it's very very basic functions. So you know the function if x value is given, you find only one y value. That is the, the function, right? So now you have uh, f of x equal five x squared plus three. Find x um, f of four, right? So what you have to do, you have to just plug the value um the x with 4 in here and then that should be fine so f of x equal to that f of 4 equal to 4 times 5 is square plus 3 is 16 times 5 is 80 plus 3 is 81 so f of 4 equal to 81 so next you practice by yourself exactly the same way you did um and make sure that you get answer x equal to i um, mean f of uh, 2 equal to Three. So that very much you need to learn for um, the basic algebra for your officer candidate test. So make sure that you watch the video at least few times and 
practice using this our uh, application.